Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We have enough of the afternoon uh, GFS model run that I thought I'd uh, do a video here. And we can see here's Matthew uh, continuing its northward motion. I want to point out, by the way, that there is another system that is developing northeast of the Leeward Islands. It's actually gotten better organized. And when we look at the visible satellite pictures, it looks like there's some kind of circulation here of some sort, at, at least at mid-levels. Whether it's at low levels or not remains to be seen. And I want to, of course, watch something like this that seems to have developed uh, close to Matthew. It is outside, though, the, the sphere of Matthew's circulation at the moment. You can see where these clouds are running northwest to southeast that, that are coming from the outflow. And this system actually winds up sitting to the north of it. There's also quite a bit of dry air north and east of that. So you want I want to pay a little bit of attention be, uh, because last year with Hurricane Joaquin, we had the remnants of Ida reformed to the northeast and many uh, meteorologists afterwards uh, theorized that those remnants and the reformation of a weak circulation of Ida may have been instrumental in uh, helping pull Joaquin, pulling Joaquin out to sea. Now the upper air is completely different this time around so that doesn't necessarily mean that an outcome like that uh, would be similar. But you know, it's out there and it's close, so we got to take a, take a look at it. Now, this is the new GFS model run, which, by the way, yesterday, uh, the UK MET model, which is the British model, showed uh, this system, Hurricane Matthew, straddling along the Florida coast and then uh, turning parallel to the Georgia-South Carolina coast. Uh, it was even further west than any of the uh, GFS model runs that we've seen. Today's GFS actually has come in uh, a good two degrees further west with Matthew, and it's a little bit faster. So what it does is that it takes it and straddles it just off the Florida coast by 100 or 120 miles or so, and, you know, that's perilously close, and then turns it uh, northeastward, actually brings it onshore in northeastern South Carolina, and then just takes it right up the immediate coast of the Carolinas, before it ejects it northeastward and then moves it up uh, to Cape Cod. Now, I want to point out that I think at this point, if let's say this were correct, and I'm not saying that it is, but it is coming under the influence of this upper air disturbance and strong shortwave trough that's out to the uh, northwest of it. And we've been talking about that for days, whether it phases it or kicks it out, phases it or kicks it out. And in this particular run, it went back to phasing it. My own opinion is that uh, we're going to see Matthew probably transition over into some sort of post-tropical storm because when you look at this, uh, it looks very much like um, a winter-type storm in terms of how where the clouds are, in terms of the circulation, where the rain, the heaviest rain, winds up being uh, on the western side of the low, northwest of the low center and not on the east side. So, I mean, almost, it really does have the look of a, of a nor'easter going by. And this would time out, by the way, for uh, moving in during uh, later Saturday night and lasting through Sunday night. So, I mean, if this were correct, this is not a landfalling hurricane for us, but it might actually be a beneficial drought buster for us, which is, and also especially for New England. So, again, purely speculative mode here. This is, this is a model output that you're seeing. It's one model. It's not my forecast. I want to emphasize that um, because I'm amazed at how I misinterpreted many times saying, you know, well, Joe says we're getting hit by a hurricane, and that'll be the conclusion out of all of this. I am not saying that. I am still not ready to make a final specific forecast. I am just, I am taking you through this model journey that we've been on. And when you uh, look at the upper air on this particular run, again, the big question with the GFS is, does this short wave trough, you see here that V-shape uh, in the flow, so winds aloft are northwest here and southwest there, and they kind of meet at, at a V, does it phase it or does it kick it out? And on this run, it basically absorbs it. So it does phase it and would suggest that we would have a low traveling offshore, but just offshore. And again, I would think looking at this upper air structure the way it is, it's telling me that we would see Matthew gradually transition over into a, a strong post-tropical 
storm uh, before it moves away uh, to the northeast. Now, I know uh, I've got a couple of you who are asking me about um, Nova Scotia and all this and Newfoundland. So I want to I want to take a look at this. If this run were correct, uh, the low would actually go uh, well north and west of Nova Scotia and up into northern Maine and then pass over western parts of Newfoundland. So let me just uh, give you um, a view here. That, uh, that I do have an Eastern Canada view here somewhere. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, I'll find it. South Central, Southeastern Alaska, North Atlantic. All right, at the risk of, I, I thought I had, had it. At, oh, here it is. Hang on. Southeast Canada. Yes, that's what I want. Southeast Canada. So, uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, but you can see what it does here on the, for, for Nova Scotia. The low center actually goes west of Nova Scotia and west of Newfoundland. But the circulation of this is very large. It almost looks like a, uh, you know, it does look like a winter type storm. And yeah, that's snow up there in northeastern, in, uh, in southeastern Canada. So uh, let, there, there you have it with respect to Matthew. Here's the last satellite uh, loop here, the water vapor. You can see the well-formed eye continues to move just almost straight north. If it continues on that track, the eye may pass just east of the southeastern tip of southern Haiti, but we'll see because there can be jogs in either direction. Warnings up for Jamaica, Haiti, uh, eastern Cuba, and for the Bahamas. And don't forget, you can check all the latest weather on meteorologistjochaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com, and ssstormchasers.com.